So the LS-18 shotgun in Killzone Mercenary is one out of the three shotguns that truly shreds somebody up. So let's go ahead and get started with the review. Yo, 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 what is going on guys, Tyroke here, aka the Light Skin Gamer, aka LSG, and welcome to the review of the LS-13 Shotgun in Killzone Mercenary. Now, if you actually look at the stats on this weapon in the description at the top, it says Shredder Shotgun. This weapon truly does shred people up. The boy is completely insane but anyway before I get more in depth on how insane it is let's go ahead and look at these stats real quick we have a 3 out of 5 out of the damage a 1 out of 5 out of the accuracy 1 out of 5 out of the range a 3 out of 5 out of clip size and a 4 out of 5 out of rate of fire and a description on this weapon that is a fully auto shotgun with armor piercing rounds is only meant for close range encounters now this weapon, when it says it's only meant for close range encounters, it's true. Because if you try to snipe, not try to snipe, just try to use this boy at mid or long range, you're going to end up either using your entire clip or not killing him. Only use this boy at long range. Mid range, you might get the kill if you hit every single shot. But at long range, don't even bother. This weapon is only meant for close range. And I have to say, it does a perfect job for what it's meant for. Close range, I have not lost a gunfight. Maybe if I actually missed, but if I'm on target, which is actually not that hard to do I do work with this weapon but anyway let's go ahead and move on we got the damage which is a 1-3 hit kill up close and a 4-6 to six hit kill at long range to mid range so or mid to long range so basically if they have a ballistics vest, it's going to be a lot harder. It's probably going to have to put a shell or two extra into them. So that might be your whole magazine if they're at long range or mid range. So I highly advise you, please pick them gunfights wisely whenever using any kind of shotgun. They're mainly used for close range. Now, if you had the LS-13, maybe you could probably pull that off, but this is definitely not that. Stick to close range. So next up, we have is the accuracy, which is extremely weird. It has crazy hit fire sometimes, but... If you aim down the sight with this weapon, it was actually spot on accurate. Like I barely had recoil at all with this weapon. And I find I found that very, very odd just because of the fact that the hip fire seems like it's a lot, but I guess it's just the muzzle flash going everywhere. But hip fire, uh if you want an ADS, you can go ahead because I have no problem with either or. I don't understand why it says it doesn't have good accuracy, it has a 1 out of 5, yet it has literally no recoil when you ADS. I have no idea. I don't know what that was, but I'm not arguing. So next up we have is the range, which is very poor, the worst in tier. This weapon is only meant for close range. Like I said, don't try to use this boy at mid to long range. You will get your shit pulled back. So please stay at long range. Not long range, close range. So next up we have is a clip size, which is 8 shells. Now... At first, I had a problem with it, but I guess I come accustomed to using it. I really don't see what the problem is. I actually like it, and I actually do. Because then again, if it had more shells, it might be overpowered, or people might spam it too much. But I feel like it has the right amount of shells. Now the STA-3... I think, or the STA, whatever that other shotgun is, that boy only has four shells. I think that's a little bit too less, but anyway, let's go ahead and move on. We got the fire rate, which is the highest in tier. The other one's semi-automatic, the other one's pump action. This boy fully automatic. It was a clear giveaway that it was going to have the highest in tier. So, that is good. But sometimes the large, uh, the high fire rate can uh, just fuck with the gun's accuracy a lot, which sometimes it does throw me off target. But aiming down the sight, it can easily be managed or just basically just shredding them niggas up close to where they can't move that much and you're just going to get the kill anyway. So let's go ahead and get with this final verdict. I would have to say the weapon is a nice secondary, very good at close range, damn near unbeatable. And it has no range, so only to stay at close range. And it is a true shredder shotgun. I think anybody that has stepped in front of this gun has fucking dropped. And I have to say, even when I was lagging, they dropped. So I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite secondaries in the game. Next to the LS-13 and the VC-8. This gun literally just... Oh my god, I just have no... I gotta, get, I gotta go back to playing it. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review of the LS-18 shotgun. Always leave your comment down below on the next gun you would like for me to review next leave a like if you haven't and if you haven't subscribe and i hope you guys have enjoyed it and that is it guys tyro gazelle bb